Hey folks, I didn't think I was going to have to do this, but I still get emails about it. When you see something like this, and it might look like there's something attached to the sun, and every single video only seems to show this one yellow ball of the sun when uh, you know how many different colors there are. The reason they didn't show you the pink one, for example, this is the AIA-211, is because you could see that there's nothing attached there, and whatever forces were making that plasma stand straight up also caused the coronal cavity, which appeared as a dark hole on the other one. Now onto something real. The red over there is a geomagnetic storm. The KP is uh, currently at a 6, that is a moderate storm. You can see here on the SOHO solar wind data, over there on the right the last couple of hours we got hit with that first uh, coronal mass ejection. You can see here on the ACE solar wind data, it's not as easy to see here, that's why I put the solar, uh, the SOHO one up. But we come over, take a look at the magnetometers. This is the Harp Fluxgate magnetometer. You can see the strong disturbance there at the end. Same thing here on the induction mag uh, magnetometer, the resonance of the planet. You can see here on the VHF rheometer where the red goes above the blue. That is high ionospheric absorption. That means solar plasma is penetrating through the magnetosphere, juicing us up, um, having all other kinds of effects. And the proton fu uh, flux on the goes, <laughs> excuse me, is uh, rising. And uh, if it hits that dotted line above it, that will officially be a solar radiation storm. You can see we just came out of one. So we do have uh, another coronal mass ejection that is on the way, as you can see here on the CME Evolution Enlil Spiral. There's the first one that just hit us, and the second one that is coming about a day later just uh, came out behind it. So that's the news, folks. Be safe.